getting this done. There we go. And now we will link this to the other places. There we go. Turn that off. Post that. Turn that off. And get your music out. So here we go. back a couple pages to there that's what we want that's what we want there not bad <clears throat> So this is what we're going to work on today, A minor. It's the last day of the cycle, so we're going to try to be really good. I've already done some long tone work, some uh, some previous boring work before I come on cam. Not that this is the most exciting work on the planet, but. Sometime I'll show you the, my uh, long, long tone routine. Alright. So the first thing I'm going to do, at, like every day, is do a quick tour through my modes. So A, a minor has no key signature. That is to say there's no sharps are flat so i'm going to go scale degree by scale degree two octaves up two octaves down within that blank key signature i'll be practicing somewhat a natural minor and just trying to build a beautiful easy beginning to my technical work for the day 80 on the metronome subdivision on for there 
is exactly how even my fingers are going up and down the instrument. I don't care about the speed at all. And I, the, the way that I build that evenness is to think is, is how I think about the subdivision. So let's just do a C major scale for two octaves. I don't think about this. I do not think about dwelling on each beat or thinking about coming from each beat. I think about going towards the next beat. So in slow motion, it would be... That's how I'm subdividing that in my head. Let me make it even more obvious. Towards the beat, da 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 da. That adds up to evenness. <clears throat> Let's go into the harmonic form of the scale. We're at one hundred subdivision on still. <laughs> Stay hydrated, beginning of the day for sure. Okay. Harmonic minor again, same thing, 100, subdivision on. and see if that's any, any easier for me. Maybe. Let me try this a little bit. So we're going to move it up to 120. Take the subdivision off. Do the same thing. 20 clicks at a time. my fingers down exactly where they belong. Nothing complicated. <clears throat> Good air throughout. Let's 
let's move it up to 140, same thing. but what's more important to me is that every note is appearing within the beat exactly where I want it to. And that's because I've been building this up for a long time from a slow tempo. Evenness counts. The speed will come. Same thing, 140. <laughs> Especially on the last day of this work, I definitely want to make sure that I do extra reps if I have to. Okay, 160. Here's our goal. <clears throat> Trying to take the same idea straight into this. Not speed, but evenness. Listen for the evenness. And the good air. The air and the evenness does everything. <laughs> step here between the A and the G sharp is really what I'm trying to concentrate on. Everything else feels good. It's just that little interval. All right. Let's go back. 100. Subdivision on. Now actually doing melodic minor here. So now three, form, three forms of minor and now we're working on the third. So we're really getting all of our juice in A minor moving today. <clears throat> Notice I'm not playing with music, I'm playing this all from memory, so should you.
Okay, 120. <clears throat> Again, striving to do exactly the same thing, just up 20 clicks. Even, beautiful, easy. <laughs> looking for the tone to stay the same all the way up and down the instrument. The technique will come. Let all of this other stuff happen. Air, easiness, evenness. <laughs> it starts to feel a little bit trance-like. It starts to feel like you get in a real groove and things start to move when you want them to. And that's when you're actually working hand in hand, no pun intended, with your instrument. It's becoming part of you when you can let go of the difficulty and start to enjoy just kind of being a little zen with your instrument. 140, same idea. Moving the tempo, but not moving the idea. I'm thinking about how even I'm playing, the tone quality from top to bottom, and the ease of my technique. <laughs> started. Now things are starting to really come together. 160, here's our goal. Thank <laughs> you. 
does get quite elevated here, but pretty close. As long as I have done what I've been doing for the past, what, 20 minutes, then I should get there. All right. Let's go back to 140. We're going to do some arpeggio action. That's the second exercise here. Leaving off the front note. Who cares? Excuse me. So at a tempo like that, it's awfully easy to get some blippies in there. You know, it's deceptively simple to be going, there's no extra fingers, so you can't afford to have any... Right? You really got to be... You want every note to come out like a little pearl. And I'm, again, thinking... Towards each each beat. So here we are at 110, subdivision off. I'm going to do some slur two, tongue two in three different ways. Like this. <laughs> Sub, uh, articulation off. Same idea. Easy and even. very little extra help like I'm staying trying to stay very uh, still and um, efficient I want my body to be an efficient air delivery machine into this machine okay 140 there's my dog won't get out come so this is our goal just extrapolate everything, easy and even. 20 clicks higher, that's it. fast that's whatever but what I liked about it was that it was even and that I heard every note pop out exactly when I wanted it to my dog wants to get back in look you got to decide whether you want in or out do you want in or out come come good girl no, no, I don't have time for that right now I don't have time for that I know I know all right so let's go back to 100 put the subdivision on 
we split the subdivision on at 100. We're going to do this one. Two breaths. I mean, two rip, two reps. Breath, two reps. Per tempo marking. Extrapolating, keeping it all the same, keeping it all easy. It all comes from the air. subdivision off same idea do this exactly the same way we just moved it up faster but I'm not thinking about that evenness airstream Does it feel even? Does it feel like the notes are going? I have a little ant on my. You see that? Um, uh, never mind. You know what I'm saying. All right, 100. Let's finish this off. I'm going to do it. Oops. As printed, take the repeat, take a breath, take the repeat. No articulation. Here we go. Same idea, easy and even. Looking for the evenness of tone, evenness of technique, and beauty of sound. Nothing else. One. <laughs> Subdivision off, same idea, keep it exactly the same. Thank you. 
the third rep there. Why? Because I didn't love the first two. I'm allowed to do that. It's my business. I'm at home by myself, except for you guys, of course. 140, here's our goal. Same idea. It's a little quick, somewhat challenging, but really try to keep it within the exact same context. starts to be pretty quick okay and the only reason that I'm able to hang with it uh, and play it pretty evenly is to have worked it up the way that I have for five days you know and the rest of my life it's not the first time I've done this cycle by a long shot so at this point I'm going to swab out I'm going to continue um, I'm going to make sure that my horn stays nice and clean on the inside always from the bottom please Hi, CC. Would you like to say hi to everyone? Come, let's go. Oh, I know. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Did you have a bra? No way. This is a fish fish. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 You want to say hi to everybody? Oh, hello, everyone. Oh, hello, everyone. This is CC, the Wonder Calf. She's a good girl. All right, come. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. So, let me... Okay, so now I'm going to move on to these, which are exercises by Fritz Kretsch, and very old school, uh, extremely classical uh, set of exercises. Each exercise is designed to be played four times in a row, and then uh, uh, finished by the final bar after the, the double bar. Each You can see each of them has repeats every single time. So four times before you get to the final bar. And how I learned to do these is via uh, my friend Scott, who studied with Harold Wright, who is my absolute favorite clarinetist of all time. And so how you do these is you set your metronome at, at whatever tempo you're going to do that day. For me, it's 60. And then you just play. Let's see. So the purpose of these is to be completely even, completely easy, very super duper, super legato. And what I really try to do here is try to play each of these exercises as though I were taking an orchestral audition, that each one of these is an orchestral excerpt, and that the committee is going to be listening to all these, these little details that I'm trying to execute. So even though it might be quite simple i promise you that any time that i'm playing these my mind is in overdrive is it perfectly even is it beautiful is it perfectly legato hard here we go 
Number 13, A minor. play that last note or the last the last bar and and how I finish it with great intent don't just get to it that's not finishing something that's just stopping playing you want to get in the habit of finishing beautifully as well number 14 keeping it super duper legato super duper beautiful Just like that. Moving on. Number 15. Same idea. Super duper, super duper legato. deceptively difficult okay always with the half hole so if I'm playing that that second second measure of, of, of 15 number 15 so I never am just lifting my finger off I'm constantly going for the half hole 16 only right hand pinky no left hand
17. Still like just religiously trying to keep this even, religiously trying to keep this legato, okay? You must, you must practice these as though there is a committee listening to you, as though a great master is sitting up there in the balcony somewhere and is really, really wants you to play well, is invested in your playing. That's you, by the way. And wants the best for you, but wants also to hear you play well. You're trying to be beautiful under every circumstance. Number 18. take that extra rep if you didn't do the last bit well. You don't want to just take that out of context. You want to leave it and put it back into context before you finish. Number 20, still keeping the metronome the same tempo. We're at 60, still playing as printed. So now we're going to up. It's going to be one and a half times as fast with these six tuplets. <laughs> faster it's the same idea staying very broad within this beat trying to stretch all of the notes out in the beat to not rush at all just with 30 seconds instead of six tuplets. We'll never remove my right hand here. as a clip take a look at my right hand here while I play this you'll see that I don't actually do that much with my right hand as long as I can leave it down here which I can for all of these notes then my right hand just kind of does this again right hand pinky I'm not moving my left hand in for anything But you can see, like, I am very, I'm trying to be 
very relaxed in my aspect for all of this. And even though the tempo has moved quite a bit here, we're at 120 for 16th notes, which is, you know, a, a legitimate allegro. Uh, I'm not terribly worried about it because my technique is easy and even. All right, let's finish this bad boy off, shall we? All right, here's the last, what, five of this. This page can get somewhat challenging, but I'm really going to try to keep it under control. <clears throat> See if I can really make this as beautiful as everything else. Number 22, still keeping the metronome at 60, subdivision as is, as printed. <laughs> So that one's got some challenges, but again, on that, on that, from starting on this measure here, this, this, this little, these two beats are pretty, pretty, somewhat challenging. Keep it with the right hand again, and keep it with a half hole, and take your time. And we'll go. So. just kind of pop out because then it use then that that half hole acts as a if you're half hole then this this hole opens up if we're looking at it microscopically uh, like that like if I was going very very slowly that hole would open up like that which is gradual I mean I do it like that so it's fast but no matter what if I were doing if you saw it in slow motion you would see it as a gradual open of that if I just lift my finger no matter how slowly I do it, that's that's not gradual. It's just a pop. Sometimes you need a little extra help. This is a second register key. So you need, uh, when you do this, it's a register key. So rather than popping it open, squeeze it open. 23, as printed. <laughs> some challenges but let's see if I can conquer them I'm gonna try really hard not to rush Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow. Okay, yeah. During that, for that tempo marking, that is hard for me. Maybe there are great clarinet players who can tag that much easier than I, but there are a collection of challenges in the middle of that that are not so easy, but that's about as good as I do. 25. This is also challenging. Should be okay. <laughs> I think if I don't talk, I could get through it at 45, and so can you. 45 minutes to spend in the day to make you a better, more solid, more comfortable, more beautiful, more even, better overall clarinet player. What a bargain! Thank you for coming, really, every day. I appreciate it. I know, I know, I know some of you stay every day. Thank you. Bye.